Now I wasn't able to show the process of cutting this out, but basically you're trying to make this little starship or star <laughs> starfish shape. <laughs> And um, I basically used the pattern from one that I had bought previously with my first kid, but they sell these for like $25, $30. And honestly, the material only cost me maybe $6 for a really good one. I did find this knit material at Hobby Lobby. I really like their selection because there isn't a ton of things to choose from and most of their knits are really easy to sew with. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. So on the first part, I just cut um, down the middle where I want the zipper and you're really gonna want a fairly long zipper. We're talking like 22 inches or even longer. Um, it just makes it easier to get your baby in and out and I really like it going almost all the way to the end. So if you've never done a zipper before, which I am not perfect at doing zippers, this is probably only my sixth zipper ever putting in, so I definitely need to work on my skill set. But basically how I like to do it is to do a base stitch, uh, which is basically the long stitch on your, um, on your sewing machine, and I like to run it across without back stitching at all, just to create that seam and then I sew the zipper in so I know that that seam lines up really nicely and then I slowly will take my seam ripper and I will open up that first base stitch that I did so in this way I really like to do it so I know that the edges match up nicely and it's really nice and tight uh, I hope to progress a little bit more when it comes to uh, zippers, but I'm not too concerned on this because it's just a sleep sack and they're wearing pajamas underneath. Now here you can see a little bit closer that I did sew it really, really close to the edge of the teeth of the zipper, which really wasn't necessary for the style of zipper that I had. Uh, sometimes I just worry that my teeth kind of go off to the edge and aren't as straight, so I tend to sew it that way, but you absolutely can sew it a little bit further away and do a better job than I did. Now, once I've gotten the front part done, I'm gonna go around and now cut out the back. I like to do it after I've already done the zipper because sometimes um, I can mess up with how much I folded it over and um, my edges won't line up as nice and I don't like to deal with that when I'm sewing. So when you are cutting it out, just make sure the back of the neck that you leave the extra space and then make sure that you double check, triple check that you have right sides together. Now, one of these newer sleep sacks that I got, they just um, actually did wrong sides together and then they went ahead and did this binding all the way around on the outside so there wasn't any, um, any hemming on the inside no raw edges which is also a great way to do it if you would like it does take a lot more time and I didn't want to do that so I went ahead with my serger and just did the inside you can also do a zigzag stitch like I did here um, once I made sure it was secure I went back through with my serger um, for me it's not a big deal to have the seams on the inside it, the material super soft so I'm going the easy route now the to finish this we need to be able to create a neckline so here you have a two options you could um, do the binding um, you can use bias tape if you would like bias tape tends to not be as soft um, and they usually make it out of cotton so it's not as stretchy as knit um, that is a good option though because then the kids can't really get their hands out of there because it won't stretch now I have decided I'm going to try this two ways so I'm going to do one with the binding and I'm making another one and I'm going to try to do that um, with um, a different type of binding where you fold the material um, well I actually don't even know what it's called <laughs> no I can't remember but anyways you're folding it in half and you're making it smaller and so it pulls it tighter so I actually went ahead and redid the gray one because I preferred that style of the neckline. Um, and on this orange one, I kind of did a little zipper cover, which was okay. It was, it was fine for my first try, but I'll probably avoid them in the future. So here is my finished product. It was super cute and super fun to do. I love doing these because it is so much cheaper than buying them. You can really customize the size um, and the patterns. 
It also makes really good gifts, which I did give these away to a good friend of mine who was having a baby. And when you know that you didn't spend $30 on a sleep stack and you were able to make one by yourself for just a couple bucks, it's no big deal when something happens to them. They get stained, they get ripped, uh, they get torn from kids who refuse to get out of them because that's what happens to my kids. Don't be afraid to give it a try and have a lovely weekend.